You up. Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome graduates of the class of 2021, parents, friends, guests, school staff, and officials. Today we will honor students who have met the qualifications for graduation from a Minneapolis public high school. 
Because of the significance of this event and its importance in the lives of our graduates, we ask that all present respect the following guidelines. Please turn off all cell phones and any other electronic devices. Please hold your applause and cheers so each family may hear their graduate's name announced. We will have group applause for all graduates at the completion of the ceremony. If you want to take pictures during the ceremony, you must do so from your seat. No flash photography allowed. Professional videographers are recording and live streaming the graduation ceremony. The video of the graduation will be available on demand for viewing and download via the MPS website and replayed on cable TV channel 15 throughout the summer. We ask that everyone remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. The fire code prohibits anyone from being in the aisles. There is ample seating available for everyone. At the end of the program, we will have a recessional when the graduates will march out of the auditorium. We ask that you remain in your seats until all the graduates have marched out of the auditorium. We ask that you be respectful throughout the ceremony so that our graduates receive the appropriate recognition for their achievement. Please do not talk during the ceremony. Thank you for your dignified support and cooperation. We will also be reading a land acknowledgement. Buildings that make up the Minneapolis Public Schools community are built within traditional homeland of the Dakota people. Minneapolis comes from the Dakota name for this region, Minnesota Mbakochi, translating to the land where the waters reflect the skies or cloudy waters. Minneapolis Public Schools recognizes the original peoples of this place and is committed to make ongoing effort to, to educate the community about the relationship that the Dakota people have to do with this area. Both historically and today as they remain here in their home. Bonjour, sabah al khair, akam, assalamu alaikum, buenos dias, sin chao, good morning. My name is Christian Alberto Ledesma, I am the principal, proud principal of Wellstone International High School. Superintendent Graff, Director Inns, Director Ali, Director Sorio, graduates, families, staff, those of us who have had the pleasure of teaching and serving today's graduates are honored to be here for today's commencement ceremony. We are very proud of all our students and what they have accomplished, especially during this incredibly challenging year. I'd like to start our ceremony this morning by recognizing our valedictorian, and co-salutatorians. I have the privilege to recognize our valedictorian, Umar Osman. Umar has shown strong academic performance at Wellstone, which includes earning 36 credits at Minneapolis College. Umar has, yes. Umar has dedicated himself to his coursework, as evidenced by his high GPA and long list of college courses he has taken. Umar plans on continuing to study at Minneapolis College this fall. And I know that knowing Umar, he's gonna take on a lot of leadership responsibilities when he steps out to college and beyond. So please join me in congratulating Umar Osman. Next, I have the honor to recognize our co-salutatorian, Adnan Kofiro. Adnan has accumulated over 30 college credits from Minneapolis College while in high school. Additionally, he is the recipient of the Regents Scholarship from Augsburg University, totaling $22,000 per year. After graduation, Adnan plans to study pre-medicine at Augsburg University. Please join me in celebrating Adnan Kofiro.
And now I have the honor to introduce our co-salutatorian and next speaker, Gustavo Diaz Martinez. Gustavo has strived in the classroom by earning 30 credits at Minneapolis College while attending Wellstone. This strong academic performance earned Gustavo a $21,000 scholarship from Augsburg University. He has a strong passion for computer science and plans to continue his studies at Augsburg or Minneapolis College. Please join me in welcoming Gustavo Diaz Martinez. and I would like to thank everybody for taking your, the time to be here today. If you're here, it means that you're really important to one of the students sitting here. First of all, I want to thank God because we're here healthy and happy. I really appreciate all the teachers that made this possible. I know that it was not easy, and especially this year, that it was a little different, but great. I want to thank teachers, friends, and family. From my teachers, I learned to help anybody who needs help. From my friends, I learned that even a small joke can make you a day better, your day better. From my friends, from my family, I learned that they will be the people you can always trust. In two years at this school, I learned a lot from teachers, students, and from my family. I want to thank everybody who has been supporting us all the time, especially my mom and dad. My mom, Sita, unfortunately, is not here, but she is the reason why I have achieved most of my goals. My dad, Jose, also has been supporting me in many different ways, and I am really proud of him. I want to thank my grandma, Irma and Neva, they are in Mexico and not having a good time now, but wanted to let them know that they, we are supporting them from here. We hope you feel better, grandmas. I cannot name all of my family members because it will take forever, <laughs> but I have learned something from every single of them. I remember the first day I got here, I imagine how it will be my last day in this school. I met many friends, meet many teachers, and talk to many people. And it was better than I expected. Finally, I want to encourage every student to achieve their goal. Whatever goal is, we cannot st stop here. This cannot be the end. Let's continue building our dream. Thank you, and congratulations, Wilson students. It is my privilege to introduce our next student speaker, Angie Cisneros Romero, Rosero, pardon me. Angie Cisneros Rosero has thrived both inside and outside the classroom while at Wellstone. She's been a strong leader in various student groups, including Club Latino. Angie has also earned 28 credits from Minneapolis College while achieving a 3.6 GPA. Additionally, she was accepted into the Princeton Summer Journalism Program. With an interest in journalism and education, Angie plans to continue to pursue one of these passions in college. Please join me in welcoming Angie Cisneros Rosero.
Good morning, everyone. Buenos días con todos. I am beyond grateful to have the opportunity to speak to you all today. First, I would like to thank a few people in my life who have motivated me into my success. Thank you, God, for everything. Gracias, mamá, por todos sus sacrificios, por siempre escucharme y darme fuerza para seguir. Siempre dices que no pudiste darme la vida que me merecía, pero aprovecho para asegurarte que he tenido la mejor vida que pude haber pedido. Verte luchar sin quejas es la actitud y el ejemplo que me enseñaste desde que soy pequeña. A todos los padres que sienten que no pueden ayudar a sus hijos por sus barreras del idioma, esto es por y para ustedes. Ustedes hicieron mucho más de lo que creen. De parte de todos nosotros, muchas gracias. No creo decírtelo a menudo, pero aprecio todo lo que has hecho. Estoy por bendecida por tenerte. Te amo. Thank you to my siblings, Cristina, Alison, Anaí, and Daniela for continuously making me feel loved. Finally, thank you to Mr. Alex for giving me the hope I lost. <laughs> for motivating me and for teaching me how to love and forgive myself. Wellston International High School has truly been a blessing I can't imagine myself graduating somewhere else. The teachers and the rest of the staff are incredibly supportive and loving, helping students during the academic and personal failures. I didn't want to talk about the pandemic, but it is necessary to congratulate each and every one of us for somehow managing to graduate during these challenging times. It is still hard for me to say, but I'm proud. A little over nine months ago, I would have never imagined myself standing here. After the lockdown started, I was very lost and uncertain about my future. Everything was a burden. I lost my purpose and the sense of life. Although, during those months, Mr. Alex gave me light, and by that I mean he pressured me to talk about my pain. Since I learned to accept it, things have become easier. I am still not sure about what path I'm following but I know things will be okay because I am surrounded by an incredibly loving and supporting family at Wellston. I sincerely hope all of our teachers understand the great impact that they have in my life as well as other students. For you graduates, I hope that you realize that no matter what stereotypes are placed on you, you can overcome them. You define your success and your motivations. Most of us were working and going to school at the same time, but we made it. That proved to us how valuable we are. The sacrifices that we have made are much more complex than any exam score. Wherever we end up, Wellston International High School will always mean home for all of us. Do not forget where you came from. Do not apologize for your broken English. Fight for what is right, speak up for what you believe, and never give up. Congratulations, class of 2021. Gracias. Yesterday during practice, I was joking with the students that during the ceremony there was going to be crying um, from the mamas and the hoyos and you know, everybody in the audience, and I never mentioned the principal would be crying too. Thank you, students. It is my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Teja Rosman. Teja was born in Yugoslavia and moved to the U.S. at the age of 20 after receiving the George Soros Scholarship to study at the University of Wisconsin. She later continued her education at New York University and the University of Nova Gorica. In 2013, she received a PhD in cultural history, specializing in oral history recording, and has since committed her life to healing trauma, empowerment, and amplifying the voices of immigrants and refugees. In 2013, Tia co-founded the Green Card Voices and was soon recognized with a two-year Bush Fellowship Following her, allowing her to pursue studies in social entrepreneurship 
and leadership at the University of Minnesota, Harvard University, and Stanford. She and her team have recorded and shared stories of over 500 immigrants and refugees coming from 150 countries and now living in Minnesota, North Dakota, Wisconsin, and New York, California, and Georgia. She is the co-editor of Green Card Voices, 10 award-winning books. One of them is Green Card Youth Voices Minneapolis, which features the stories of 30 students from Wellstone International High School, which was published in 2015. Taya is passionate about travel, running, hiking, and spending time with her loved ones. This past Sunday, she completed her second marathon. Congratulations. Please help me welcome Taya Roseman. Thank you so much, Principal Adesma. Uh, good afternoon and congratulations. Uh, I too am emotional. Um, it's just so wonderful to be amongst what I consider my Wellstone family. Um, in 2014, um, I walked through the doors of Wellstone International High School and a year later, we published our very first book and that catapulted Green Card Voices to be the first immigrant-led publisher in Minnesota, but we also now expanded to five other states and have 10 books published. But it was the Wellstone High School students that are the authors of the very first one. And that's why I'm so emotional and so honored to be speaking to you. Today, I would like to talk to you about three things. First, celebration. Second, fight. And third, inspiration. The pandemic that began in 2019 and raged until just recently really changed our lives. A year ago, most of us, including me, have never spent much thinking about distance learning or becoming proficient in Google Meet or dealing with daily challenges of a life in a quarantine. But you did it. You have officially graduated in the most difficult year the modern era has seen. This proves how resilient you are. Congratulations. Give yourself a huge applause. Woohoo! You did it. The pandemic reminded us life is precious and short. We feared for our loved ones with pre existing conditions, and some of us even lost our loved ones. The pandemic also reminded us how difficult it is to live life in isolation, how lonely it is. We missed our loved ones like never before. We missed our friends and our neighbors. And that's why I'm especially happy that today you get to be together and that you, be, you get to be in person celebrating with your loved ones. They are so, so proud of you. I'm also especially happy that you're entering this next chapter in your life as the pandemic is ending. And I could not be happier for you because of that. This brings me to the second story, the story of the fight. Other important events that mark this last year. On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd's murder woke up the nation and reignited the fight for black lives. We all found ourselves in the heart of the movement. You come from Ecuador, Ethiopia, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Somalia, and Vietnam. You know too well that while this country has a lot of opportunities, it also has serious challenges that need to be addressed. It will not be easy. The fight continues. I hope you raise your voices and do your part to fight against Asian hate, Islamophobia, racism, and xenophobia. And finally, the third story. I would like to give you a gift, in fact, uh, it's uh, in some of your hands um, or on your chairs, but I would like to give you a gift 
of a book, which I hope will inspire you and engage with you. This book has first-person stories of 20 immigrants and refugees that just like you came to this country, many of them not speaking the word of English. Two stories in particular, Kim from Cambodia, she came here at the age of 15. She remembers how difficult it was, but she persevered and even served in the National Guard in order to be able to go to school. Today, she's a surgeon. And Fadumo Youssef from Jigjiga, uh, uh, a Somali author who now has a mechanic, mechanical engineering degree. She too came in this, to this country at the age of 14 and fought her way through education. One thing I've learned listening inten intentionally to 500 stories of immigrants and refugees is that stories matter deeply. And I give you this gift to inspire you through stories of other people. But I will just leave you with one final thought. The stories in this book of successful professionals in STEM are not stories of the brightest people necessarily, but they are stories of people who all did one thing, one thing they have in common. They surrounded themselves with people that believed in them, and that when the time came, they asked for help. They sought out mentors, and they never gave up. So go, make the most of opportunities this land has to offer, and surround yourself with people that believe in you more than sometimes you believe in yourself. You got this. Thank you. Before I continue, I want to acknowledge and thank Maria Issa and the Afro Boricua Bomba for making this ceremony feel like home. Today, we honor the hard work of our students. We honor their stories, their strength, their determination. We also honor the hard work of our families and our staff at Wellstone. This is an achievement that we celebrate together. This is my 19th year in education, and each year I marvel at the growth of students from the beginning of the year to the end of the school year. And this year, in the midst of a global pandemic, in distance learning, seeing our graduates in person and seeing all that they have achieved, is simply wonderful. The students before you experienced much more at their age than many of us slightly older adults experienced in our younger years. As others have spoken before me, it's important to recognize and honor the lives of our families and friends and neighbors who we may have lost this year due to pandemic or violence in our communities or violence and famine in our home nations. Despite the heartbreak, it is with my heart full that I think of you, our wonderful Wellstone Lions. You've done a lot, and you've been so life-giving. A wise mentor once taught me the concept of being life-giving. To be life-giving means that you are full of life and invigorating. It means that you are full of love and praise for others. To be life-giving is to build others up and walk with them when they need support. You, our wonderful Wellstone Lions, are life-giving. You have continued to grow as scholars and leaders while working full-time jobs, taking early college courses at MCTC, advocating for justice for those lost to gun violence. You've stood with hundreds of other MPS students to proclaim that 
Black Lives Matter. Just yesterday, I told the staff at Walsam that the kids are going to be great. You are our future community members, leaders, doctors, nurses, engineers, advocates, business owners. You, our wonderful Wellstone Lions, continue to grow as global citizens in our community while the world changed around you. And when the world did change, you adapted and kept moving forward. I am proud and honored to have served our students and families. You, our Wellstone Lions, fill me with hope in seeing how you take care of one another, how you take care of your families, how you take care of you and your communities, because you know about how we are interconnected and that your success is tied to the success of your neighbor. As you move forward with your plans for college and career, I know there's much that you have learned from your teachers, from your families, and from one another. S graduates, take what you have learned and make the world a better place. Do it in small ways by being loving and helpful to one another, by being kind. Do it in big ways by being inventors and engineers and politicians and scientists and journalists. And I know that when the principal says, go make the world a better place, it, it sounds so easy. But I know that you know that the work is hard. I also know that you, students, are the best people to do it. Please remember that you are now and will always be Wellstone Lions. You are always welcome home. Please reach out to us if you ever need anything, just to say hello, to ask a question. We're always going to be here for you. I am proud of all of you and, again, honored to have served you, our beloved Wellstone Lions. You are ready to lead. So let's get you graduated. Superintendent Graff, it is my pleasure to certify that these seniors have met all the requirements for graduation as specified by Minneapolis Public Schools and the state of Minnesota. Thank, thank you, Principal Ledesma, Board Director Cerillo, Director Ali, Director Enns. As Superintendent of Minneapolis Public Schools, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present to you the 2021 Senior Class of Wellstone International High School. Buenas tardes, good afternoon, salam aleko. Thank you, Superintendent Graff, and I just wanna say a few words. Uh, I am so honored to be here. Always, always believe in yourselves, even if the world, and even if you don't believe that you can do it. Always be proud of who you are. Never forget where you came from. And never, ever be afraid of failure. Because the worst thing that, it, that can happen is you fall down, you get up, and you start all over. On behalf of Minneapolis Public Schools Board of Education, it is my sincere honor to accept the 2021 senior class of Wilson International High School. Principal Ledesma, will you please complete the presentation? I would like to ask our counselors, Mr. Ali Kofiro, Mr. Chris Castellano, to call the names of our graduating seniors.
dar a ti. Muhyiddin Abdi. Khalid Abdullahi. Yabsika Abera. Jafar Abu Bakr. Ekran Ahmad. Uba Ali. Mona Badal. Kelly Bunai Toalongo. Rosero Gustavo Diaz Martinez Jumale Duale Michelle Gomez Moctezuma Kevin Guayas Henry Lopez Camacho
Ahmad Muhammad. Ana Palma Aldana. Washington Tenekota Vishnai
Before we conclude, there is a tradition at Wellstone that honors students receiving the Heart of the Lion Award. Throughout their time at Wellstone, these students have demonstrated persistence through adversity, courage in times of fear, and fierce will to succeed. They are humble and confident, dedicated and caring, slow to anger and quick to forgive. Being a Wellstone Lion means that our roar is as loud as our actions of peace. It means our love is stronger than hate. It means we will be leaders in the world because we know we must. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the Heart of the Lion Award 2021. When your name is called, please remain standing. Ahmed Mohammed, Jose Morales Mejia, Atika Asman, Angie Cisneros, Hassan Asman, Kamam Gemeda, Howie Medesca, Kevin Wayas, Fernanda Ordonia Sibri, Asman Asman, Hoda Abdi, Sadisto Mumed, Christina Araceli Vail Castro, and Jamal Duale. Again, join me in congratulating. The Heart of Lion Award recipients. Now, seniors, all seniors, please stand. Seniors, please stand. <laughs> Many of you still have this little thing we call a tassel hanging from your hat. You're going to move that tassel from one side to the other to recognize that you have graduated. Family members, friends, and staff, I present to you the 2021 graduating class of Wellstone International High School. Congratulations, graduates.